guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's DMG, and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz. I hope you enjoyed that intro. I spent over two hours trying to get all the editing right for it, um, splicing together certain parts and cutting out other parts, making sure the timing of the audio was correct with the timing of the video, but uh, I'm sure you're more interested in the... Uh, game at hand. This is mastery gameplay of the Centurion 7-1 for you on Oasis Palms. Now I don't really know what happened to the audio, or the in-game audio to be exact, as I, I thought the Mac recorder would pick it up, but apparently it didn't. So uh, it'll just kind of be like watching a silent movie with me commentating over it. So anyways, I want to go to the left of Oasis Palms the desert is the best area as I can decide where I want to attack. I'm not even going to go to that spot that I showed earlier because I know a lot of people just want to go to the base. And I see that Leo. I get a shot into him. Should have loaded Hesh, but that's okay. Uh, the consistent roll is almost just as good. I would hate to have an early bounce on a leopard. I'll try getting this. Uh, bounce off his mantlet, I think, or splash in this case. And I only do 118, but I'm going to hit this E50 here for uh, for a full roll. And I'm keeping eyes on that T54 E1. He is not really a problem right now, and I'm going to put that enormous rock formation in between myself and him. While I engage this PTA, I'm going to get a Hesh roll into him. He will be taken out the game very soon. And now the issue is the T-54. I try backing up, but oh no, this Yag Tiger, or not the Yag, ISU, I cannot read uh, what tank is what. The ISU decides to block me. I don't want to get clipped out, so I start saying negative. And, but the uh, T-54 E1 decides to uh, shoot someone else, and he clips out. So I am going to uh, put a few more rounds into him. But the ISU puts a enormous HE roll into his butt, so I am unable to do any more damage to the T-54E1. Now I'm going to engage the T-34, maybe the RU, I haven't really decided the target yet. That T-34 backs around the corner, so I'm more than happy to shoot Hesh at this RU-251. And you're going to see what, br what kind of brilliant tank this is. I mean, it has Hesh. Instead of going through three or four to five APCR rounds to kill this RU, I'm going to pull three hush rounds and just extinguish the RU-251 from the game. He is completely out. I took all of his hit points in three hush rounds. That is about 15, just over 15 seconds that I was firing. And that's his fault for not moving, really. He really allowed me the opportunity to... Uh, feed off of his hit points. Now there's only three tanks left. It looks like we're going to win, but I need to get a little bit more damage, make sure that the win will be secured. I get a lucky bounce off an angled upper front plate. Shouldn't really rely on it, but I'm going to load a hash round, make sure I roll above average on that AMX 5100. I'm thinking about firing hash at this T-34, but American tanks have thick tracks, so I'm not even going to go for it. And I'm going to continue moving as I fire an APCR round into that T-34 and now engage the Tiger II using that ridge line. And now after that Tiger II is taken out, it's just really easy mop-up work. I'm going to go after this T-34 um, and to clean up the mess. Back to APCR, get one in, and I circle around him as he tries to traverse his gun. Uh, and that is the game. Now... We finished with about, I think, 4,500 damage. And it's not extremely high, but it got me the mastery, and I contributed to the team win, you know? So uh, it's whatever works. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And if you didn't, please leave your constructive criticism in the comments. Thank you for allowing me to share my passion with you today, and I'll see you next time.